name is Vanessa. No, that's what she says in the video. Oh, is she really? Yeah. Isn't your mom's name Vanessa? My mom? Or like someone in your family? No? Literally not a single person. <laughs> not one person. Well, you seem like so like, wait, your middle name? My middle name is Vanessa. Well, now I kind of want to start that song over. That was fun. Can we just start the podcast from that or do I need to do the whole clap thing? Okay, great. The podcast has been started. Welcome to Resting Bitch with me, Ali Makovsky, aka Shoddy or Shorty or Vanessa. Yeah, just start it from 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 the very top, you know? Make sure make sure you tell me when you're cuz I want the whole Okay, great. It's already been a minute. We're almost done with the this podcast is almost over at this point. We've already we've already got going. You can call me by my middle Okay, I need to stop talking about her. Um she, oh, she's so funny. Did I already talked about it on here where she went live on TikTok and she was like, "Yeah, I said the N-word, but it's like in the past, like I've changed." And it was literally from like 2 days ago. Oh my god, my problematic queen. My face is so dry. Like it's so, it's like tight and dry. It's just like, ah, it's so tight. Um, Cause I started going to the dermatologist um, and now I'm beautiful and flawless and so expensive, but it's an investment in my future. Okay. Um, but my skin's looking good, but it's so dry right now because I'm, you know, using all these products to get it clear. And I just feel like a little lizard, a little lizard person. The headline of this video is, I'm a lizard person, all capital letters, question mark, question mark, exclamation point. And, and I know where Jeffrey Epstein is, just anything to get views. <laughs> and, uh, and I get double penetrated. And I'm actually coming out as a bisexual wizard and I'm just trying to think of all the videos that I watch and I murdered my wife and kids and have no remorse here's my confession I've been watching a lot of confession videos on YouTube I you know it's really bad when you watch this many murdered murder things because you just start to think about it a little bit too realistically how would I, you know, what would my tactics be? How would I react to pretending I had nothing to do with the murder when they confront me about it? Like, you start looking at it a little bit too game planny. Okay, I did drink a lot of coffee and I might... Did we record that at the beginning? I don't know. If that part wasn't in the beginning part, I might... This might be the episode that I shit my pants. Oh, that'll be another title? I literally shit my pants right now <sighs> at least at least i don't have the dia anymore remember like two weeks ago explosive dia after the super bowl that's what happens when you let the kansas city chiefs win um okay i might poop that's fine views 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 um okay obviously i'm having a guest on today they were supposed to be here um, seven minutes ago, but realistically, they were supposed to be here like 15 minutes ago because show business, you want to be early. That's fine. They asked, they asked to be on this podcast and I don't normally let people on who ask. There's some girl, but I, he, you know, he's, he's my boy. Happy to have him on. It worked out perfectly because I was trying to think like, fuck, who should I have on? And it's always like one of those things where like, I just overthink it and then I can never think of someone. Like I just rack my brain around it and it never ends up working out. And as I was thinking of who I should have on, he was like, hey, could I do your podcast? And I was like, perfect, tomorrow. Get here at like 11.15, no later than 11.30. And it's 11.37. Um, but whatever, Hollywood traffic. Let's, I can't wait to hear his excuse. I will call him out. 
um, and confront him. But it's so weird. People, someone asked to do my podcast who, um, I literally have had like two in-person conversations with. And it's like, what would we talk about? I don't know you. What would we talk about? It's different if it was like, you know, someone who I've, who I've seen from their work, someone who has like a really cool podcast or is like on a TV show or has a cool comedy special, something where I could like ask them questions about that. But this person, oh, I think this, my guest is here, but this person, I'm like, I don't really know you. And okay, he's here. Do you want to get him? Okay, great. So my guest is here. We're going to absolutely call him out and roast his ass. I'm excited to have him here. I'm so tired. Um, Well, I'm not really tired, but I just, uh, my body feels weak. And I did drink too much coffee without having food. So now I feel like I'm going to explode. I should probably go to the bathroom for like, maybe I'll do that. Maybe while he's on here, I'll just leave. I'll just make him have to like talk to you guys and take over the podcast for like five minutes. Uh oh. Look who's coming up the stairs, making his grand entrance. Did you shower? Uh, yeah, my hair is so long right now. Okay. Uh, Shut up. No, go over there. I have to introduce you. What are your credits? What do you want me to say about you? Um, okay, he's... Represent. Okay, anything else? Okay, anything else? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. He has more credits than me, but that doesn't mean he's better. Credits don't mean anything except for they literally do. Um, okay, so my guest today is late. Um, he showered before he got here, which you know what? If you're going to be late, at least smell nice. And I'm going to smell you when you get over here. Don't do your arms like that. Don't flex. I'm not flexing. You're flexing. Oh he had his arms just like, you know, like I'm the, like this. that's like, that's like the male version of girls, like, you know, wearing a low cut top and then crossing their arms. So their tits look bigger. You're doing your arm tits. You're showing off your arm tits to me right now. Okay, I didn't know you were jacked, Gavin. That's all I'm saying is I did not know you were jacked. It's like, it's 1130 in the morning. That's so much information for me to process as your friend. Because normally when I see you, okay, I'm going to introduce you. Normally you're always in like hoodies and crewnecks and now all of a sudden he moves to LA and has fucking ripped arms. Please don't intimidate. My audience is all weak, weak bodied people. That's why we, we all are friends. No, don't don't put on that sweater. It's ugly. I like your shirt. Okay, so my guest has been... He was on Bill Burr Presents. Yeah, okay. Bill Burr heard of him. He's done comedy, and Bill Burr's seen it. That's pretty cool. I've seen Bill Burr do comedy, so... It's kind of like Ali Mikofsky presents Bill Burr in some ways. And <laughs> no one's talking about that. He's also been on Conan... Redheaded guys are obsessed with you. Oh my god. Wow. Gavin's got like a redheaded guy thing. Okay. Um please welcome my guest Gavin Matz. <sighs> Woo! Here you go. Hey. Talking to this part. Um this part? Yeah, this so part. So cover my mouth. Yeah, my mom hates it. Oh, wait, can we move the camera so it's like... Because Gavin's not close enough to me. Normally, my guests are pretty much sitting on my lap, but your distance is like really... I'm trying to be respectful. Of who? Of uh, of the viewers. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't want to make them jealous? Yeah. My mom, every time I have a male guest on, she's always like, oh my God, the chemistry that you guys have. I had my dad on and she was like, Wow. Wow, it seems like you guys have been friends for years. It's just because you're like one of the boys. You know what? <laughs> I have called myself that a couple times. No one else has called me that, so I appreciate you saying that. But I am one of the boys, self-proclaimed. None of the boys have told me that except for you, so thank you. Yeah. Are you hungry? 
I honestly, I haven't eaten or had coffee. So I, was I thinking, would love both of these. Okay, I was thinking we could Lady and the Tramp the banana if you're down. Like just both at both ends, eat the banana. Um, I think because I'm also hungry. That's my least favorite way to eat a banana. You've so you've done it before. One time. Oh, who was it with? <laughs> oh, Bill <yeah>. Burr. <laughs> I knew it. it I just, knew it. No, it was just some other redhead. Oh, okay. Who's it? Who else is owed? Oh, Andrew Santino. Uh, uh, we've talked. Oh, okay. <laughs> but never shared a banana. Never shared a banana. Okay. What other redheads are there? Louie. Oh, it was Louie. But you <laughs> didn't call him out. You were like, that's going to stay between us. Yeah. If Louie asked you to open for him, would you? It depends. I would. It depends. Absolutely. It no depends questions the, asked. It depends on the money. Well, he's not doing like $200 for a guest spot. You think Louie's going to pay 200 No, I just think if I'm featuring for Louie, then he should pay me for, you know... The fla- the f- like the f- flight, the flight hotel hotel, and then anybody like lashing out at me online. It, totally, yeah, 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 for like future compensation, yeah. which whatever that is, if that's like you know a gift card to Whole Foods or whatever, yeah, you know, on top of feature pay. Sure, yeah, no, I think he's got it. Yeah, he's Absolutely. selling out immediately. Yeah. I know somebody that did in uh, that uh, opened for him in in Winnipeg at this club rumors. Was it a girl or a guy opening? It was a guy. Okay. Yeah. And um, everybody... Wait, the club is called Rumors? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But I know, but they're not just rumors anymore. No, it's it's statements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm opening a comedy club called Statements. That's for woke comics. Oh, rumor... Wait, Statements is for woke comics? Yeah, my my comedy club, my hypothetical comedy club I'm opening, it's called Statements. Uh Uh-huh. And it's for woke comics who aren't telling jokes, they're just telling statements they're just stating things that they believe okay we're taking it literally that's, that's like my stance. if you go to punchlines and then like, there's wh- and then you're like lines. why is there a setup yeah oh yeah yeah i thought this was all gonna be it. that's funny speaking Thanks, of punchline hear that <laughs> speaking of punchline i'll be there at san francisco april oh, really? second third and fourth i'm doing a weekend headlining really yes the punch that's sick yes are you stoked yeah that's amazing. It's crazy. I just did my first. What are you like, doing? I did my first American like headline weekend in because uh, I've done like Canadian clubs, but I don't count it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What happens in Canada stays in Canada. Rumors, yeah. baby. Dead Crow comedy in North Carolina. It was fun as shit. That's sick. I've never. I want. I was supposed to go to North Carolina, but then I booked a commercial that I didn't. I was essentially, and I got booked to be like a lead in this commercial. They cut you out. No, I was you like an, I was commercial. like a glorified extra. I rode a bird scooter. I had a helmet on. I was wearing business casual clothes. You couldn't even tell it was me. I just zoomed past. How much money? Uh, Say it. I don't remember honestly. So it wasn't that. I'll much. find the email. No, it wasn't that much. But I'm like, I'm gonna be a lead in a commercial, and then I got there, and they're like, put on this helmet, Nationwide. wear a mask, actually just eat eat the food, and don't come on set. But I was supposed to yeah, do Asheville you got Comedy there and they're Festival. Like, they're like, you're actually kind of creeping us out. Yeah. Actually, your vibe is I, a lot different yeah. in person. Would it be okay if you weren't in the commercial, yeah. really? How do you feel about um, PAing this commercial? <laughs> How do you feel about helping us out? Could you actually be assistant to the PA? Yeah. <laughs> Could you be a PA's assistant? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I was supposed to do Asheville Comedy Festival and I heard Asheville's like a really cool place. But then you know what? I was looking at the pictures of it and I was like, no, shut up. Everybody's like, this is a really cool place. And you get there and you're like, I don't want to do anything. People don't know what cool is. People who don't, people who don't, people who live in not cool places think that not cool things are cool. Yeah. They're like, oh, well we have a pizza place. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, what? It must be like, oh, what's so cool about it? Oh, and they're yeah. like, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, they're like, they in, actually use uh, extra cheese. And you're like, that's what makes it cool. In North Carolina, across from the hotel, there was a, the cotton exchange, um, which they just still that had That sounds up. racist. It, it, I mean, it's where they used to sell people. Wait, really? Yeah, and they still have it up. But inside, there's like, you know, like, it's like a farmer's market inside. And so I was making fun of it. And on the Friday show, like 20 people walked out. They were mad. And then White after- people? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, whole, always white people. White then, people. And why they're do, like hey, older dudes too. Hey, quick You're like question. Trump supporters. Quick question. Why do white people be mad? Um, oh, they just like love statues. 
They love statues. They love statues. But and- not. And wait, hold on. This joke's not gonna work, but still gonna try it anyways. Say say your part again. They love statues. They Okay. Would you say you let's go back I, okay. further? Hey, quick question. Why do white people be mad? Because they love statues. And st- statue statute of limitations. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Well, welcome to <laughs> statements. Can you Fill tell out the don't comment tell, cards? Don't, don't tell Bill Burr about this, okay? Do uh, not tell Bill Burr about this. I mean, I won't, but he will. He will watch it. Do you think he's a? Do you think he's a fan oh, look of at us in our d- dirty Air Force Ones? Dude, we're such white people. Yeah, this is why white people will be mad. I like a dirty Air Force One. It makes yeah, me I feel very too. Shia LaBeouf vibes. <sighs> right? We both follow that account that just posts Shia outfits. Yeah, I've like I've liked every photo. He's so. You know what? I've had a couple interactions with the Shia we, man. We know. I know. Everyone knows. I talk about it as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. I'm when obsessed with like, him. Weren't you there when he punched the guy? Um, uh, he did not punch the guy. It was an altercation that got out of hand, and no, uh, no hands on Shia's end right. were thrown. But I will say, it did but if get he close. did throw hands, I would defend it's probably him. Probably over. He looks jacked right now, dude. He's so jacked for that movie. <sighs> How do you feel about Timothy Chalamet? Because I can't stop talking about him, and I don't even know if I genuinely like him or if I'm just caught up in the allure i don't like him at all whoa yeah you and um i think he's like a i think he's like a he overacts he does right i think he's like a he's 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 got like a nicholas cage thing going for him that's like not exact it's not like as good as nicholas cage like you know how nicholas cage overacts in a way that you're like this he's doing it and he's kind of and here's the thing i do love timmy t Love him, okay. I love Chloe Feynman's impression of him more than I love him. Whoa! Yeah, if you Chloe Feynman had a very good weekend update on the on the desk, she yeah she like smashed it yeah, and I was like, oh, that's so funny. I like I I you know what, but okay, I he kind of just always play. He's the same in every role he plays. Yeah. He's always like <sighs> troubled and distraught yeah. and oh, <sighs> scoffing. He's a scoffer. Um, I would like him to scoff some scoff me. You'd like him to scoff. I'd like you? to get scoffed by Timmy. I don't exactly know what that means. I don't know what it means either. I don't think he's like But I feel like you are you saying like to eat eat you out? Scoffed maybe like a f- a finger or two. A finger? A finger or two. I feel like he's a big finger. You think so? Yeah, he he's has big, long. He has he's long. He's big into finger banging. Absolutely. And yeah, like, and he's not and good like, at it. And, no, he's not. And he but, bites his nails, so it kind of hurts a and, little bit for the girl. And he'll probably look at you so angry when he's doing it. Because he's like focusing. He's yeah, like, they didn't teach this in theater school. He's like staring at yeah. you. Ew. I love that. I didn't like your eyes looking at me when you did this. Yeah, that was not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. I just realized that I'm chewing ice so loud in uh my mouth on the mic yeah but you edit this uh-uh we don't edit <laughs> you don't edit it the all? first episode i ever recorded we recorded like an hour of the podcast and at one point like 13 minutes in one of the pillows fell and i said that's a gay pillow <laughs> and i was like i can't say that the pillow's gay like yeah i'm gonna get can- like why would I say that? I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. And so instead of editing it out, we recorded a whole new episode. Okay. Just because I called the pillow gay. Right, right, right. So it's a good thing you brought that up. So it's a good thing I brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry I didn't... Re- I was Do you have like another hour you? available? Because we're going to have to just re-record. Uh, from you chewing ice? And no, from me calling the pillow gay. I forgot that I wasn't supposed to say it. Yeah, I'm free until about two o'clock. Okay. Wait, what were you saying about my mouth? I was just watching you chew ice and <laughs> What? Is it gross? I mean, I think chewing ice is maybe the, the grossest thing you can do. Okay. Not you other people actually. When you do it, damn. <laughs> when damn. you do it when you do it, it's interesting. She do <laughs> she do be crunching though. She do be crunching though. Um my dad is a nice chewer, and I get most things from my dad. Me and my dad are very similar in gross ways. Yeah. Like, my dad's a nice chewer. He has the nice same chewer. hair coloring He has the you. same hair color. 
famously. My dad was on my podcast right. and um it was wild. But he he's a nice chore. He also does this when he's watching shows. He puts his shirt over his face. And he just watches TV like this and Why is sometimes that? he'll chew on it, so he'll just <laughs> have like a wet a wet collar on his shirt. It's disgusting. Yeah, I can see that you get most things from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also both have wide feet. Um, okay. And we also like if we have salad, we'll lick the bowl after to get all the sauce and juice and stuff. Okay. That's like Any a good dressing? dressing to do. Yeah, like with the dressing, like all Which, everything that's left at the bottom, we just lick it up. I like a like good dogs. bowl lick, but I don't think with salad. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we lick. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Me and my dad are both like uh, disgusting food eaters. Right. You like, lick each other's bowls. <laughs> yeah, we. we <laughs> Allie just, like, licks her dad's bowls. Yeah. My, da- my dad has good bowls to lick he just leaves his bowls out and there's like a lot then... of leftover juice and sauce on his bowls yeah and he's and then you go over and you're like and I'm I go, dad over. do you have any bowls i can lick and then he's how got are your him, bowls doing and then he's got them ready and he's got the bowls ready to lick and i go your bowls hold up a nicely bowl, throughout the years or, or one of the deep you know like a deep bowl or yeah, is it they're, like a they're... wide bowl? I hate those bowls that are like essentially plates and you're like, what am I supposed to put in yeah, here? You're like, like trying to eat cereal and it's just plate, like a fondue tray. I know. And they're always at like Airbnbs. <sighs> like these people with the, I, if If I go to a fucking Airbnb and you got one of these half bowls, that's like a, that's a two star situation. Mm-hmm. I need like a deep bowl. Yeah. Deep. I want oh. my whole hand to have to go down. Yeah, you want to fist the bowl. When I'm scooping food out. Yeah. You yeah. want to fist the bowl. <laughs> you want to fist the bowl. <laughs> you got to fist the bowl. Yeah. And I've heard word on the street is you're fisting bowls out here. Uh. Bill Burr. <laughs> that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say, Bill Burr. I like it when people ask, they are like, what? Or like, you'll do it like now that I have like a credit and they'll ask before I go on stage, they'll be like, what do you want? What do you want me to say about you? And you'll be like, oh, well, here's a credit. And then they'll be, and they'll be like, they'll be like, what do you want me to say? I'll be like, Conan. And they'll be like, oh, this guy's Conan. Like they'll say that to me. This before. guy's Conan. Yeah, they're like they'll do like a joke, making fun of me. Oh, because me they're and, insecure. Yeah, yeah and I'm yeah. like, I'm no, like, I'm not insecure. I'm at like, all. could you not fucking do that? I no, I know you're cra- not. No. <laughs> you're fine. You're headlining the punchline. Doing great. Yeah. Um, you're Joe Rogan's daughter. I'm Joe. Yeah, I'm his illegitimate daughter. No one knows that yet. People are like. Oh, Allie opens for him because she's a woman, and well, that's or, actually not true because or or she's you, you're his first female his opener. first female opener. Allie only opens for him because she's a woman and diversity and blah blah blah. Or like, oh, Allie only opens for him because they're hooking up and no one knows, but they are, and it's like, oh my, no, God. I'm his daughter. Yeah, that's a look gross, at my look at my knuckle size. You know what's grosser? You than- think that comes from Larry? No, that's a Joe Rogan fist right there. <laughs> huh. So I'm so buff. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's I hate uh well, I don't hate. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> there's like a <laughs> Got to keep the audience. There's like a fancy broad. tic-tac-toe thing here. I don't like it when they like they're like tic-tac-toe is art. Yeah. Yeah, oh, what's next? Uh Okay. A crossword puzzle. Oh, uh, oh yeah. What's next? Sudoku. What's What's next? Legos. Oh, what's next? Coloring books. <laughs> I can only imagine if it. So people watching it, they love they're, it. They're like they love they're it. gearing up. They're like no, they we're love about it. to get some ASMR. They're like we live. yeah because but, but then the person just listening to it on Spotify, they have no idea it's coming, and then they hear the chew. No, but that's what they love. They love that because the podcast is essentially like role play because they don't know when it's going to happen. But pretty much every single episode of this podcast, there's ASMR randomly thrown in unexpectedly so the whole time they're just getting lubed up ready to go and all of a sudden they hear that ice crunch and they're wow it really throws a throws a crunch yeah throws a crunch plans. throws a crunch in the plans the old <laughs> saying yeah as the saying goes <laughs> throw saying a crunch goes, in the plans throw a crunch in your plans you got a granola bar oh man oats oats eat those in bowls deep ones <laughs> deep bowls yes tie deep bowls. everything we've said together 
Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Is that a banana phone? Yeah, but uh, but it's my dad. Oh, Larry. Hey, um, on a scale of uh, one to ten, how wet is your collar right now? We could edit that out, actually. <laughs> I'd be fine with that if we edited that out. We're actually not releasing this. Oh, good. Well, here's the thing. Whenever people ask to do my podcast, I'm like, yeah, come over. We'll record. I'd love to have you on. And then I never put it out. Good. I like that, actually. There's been like five people. Well, you no, texted you know me. You're, so like, you're like, you're like, yesterday, you're like, what are you doing? And I was like, let me do your podcast tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But it was perfect because I, I, I needed to do a guest episode and I like just couldn't think of who to have on because I was like overthinking everything. That was cool. That was great. But I it don't was think you can cam. do it twice. No, it wasn't as cool. It wasn't as cool. Um, it, uh, I couldn't think of who to have on, so when you asked that, it just kind of worked out. Cool. <sighs> um, oh, but someone asked to someone that I don't really know that well who lives in New York, and like I've only met a couple times, and like have had have had very brief conversations with. Right. Was like, can I do your podcast? I'm going to be in LA like these dates and i'm like what would we talk about yeah weird to it's weird to like i mean i was more joking when i asked you but i'm glad I mean, you said you yes weren't joking. and then and then uh but it's weird to be like i'm gonna be in your city can i do a yeah. podcast <laughs> i'm like what but also like never have i had a long conversation with this person i know but it's funny we just i'm just think, curious like, what they think that we would talk about What's their name? I have to burp. Hold on. That was really bad timing. <clears throat> I think. I could just show you. I don't know who that is. I know, exactly. For good reason. Exactly. <laughs> She's watching this. I love the confidence. No, and that's the other thing. It's like you've never not i don't expect people who come on to listen but if you're gonna ask at least be like oh i love your podcast it's really entertaining i would love to be on it at least gas me up a little bit yeah yeah. yeah. but it's like you're not listening They're to my like, podcast. it's the most exciting thing i've ever come across <laughs> yeah i'm like that's the way you are on the couch that's the last word i would use to describe this podcast the exciting. way you chew ice is so i do a lot of noises it's so fucking like next level like i can't even can we see yeah you're just fully on you know not even on the grid yet oh here we go also it says her her bio says model slash comic slash model oh so she's like a model slash comic slash model Okay, now I'm giving away too much. She, I literally oh, said her she bio. She replies to your stuff a lot. Yeah. I mean, not really. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Oh, she messaged you, let's do mics. <laughs> let's hit the <laughs> mics together. Hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to fucking wanna meet up at five o'clock and do the mics? Want to hit the Lyric Hyperion, pay $5 to perform three minutes of comedy? In hell. In hell. <laughs> Um, wait is statements your comedy club gonna have an open mic statements will have a weekly open mic yeah um but everyone does um everyone has to do um prop comedy interesting just to kind of like switch it up yeah get them out of their comfort zone okay in my comedy club which i haven't named yet um there's an open mic but i only pick three people it's called it's, it's called there's i only pick three people to perform and the, and they have to host feature and then a headliner <laughs> okay <laughs> and it could be and it's like open mic level but the person ha if they sign up and they get they picked as the headliner out of the bucket they have to do 45 minutes <laughs> oh that's great that's perfect i like that <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's i'm gonna go it's to like that their first mic. set <laughs> yeah they can't they've get only off. prepared five minutes if they, if they leave early they just we, keep we have get to beat the shit out of them oh and you have to pay what was your it's twenty dollars do they get paid after though it's like a no. you pay but then no no no. Oh, they okay. get paid in time oh, nice <laughs> that's my favorite way to get paid <laughs> you get paid in experience yeah my mom always goes great exposure when I first started comedy and I was going to open my mic, mom says it like that too. oh my god she's like, that's great exposure get just it. get out there <laughs> yeah 
I'm like, who the fuck do you think I'm be- <laughs> exposing myself to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pedophiles. <laughs> Only pedophiles go to open mics who aren't performing. It's great exposure. It's great exposure. My cool. mom was always like, you got to get in the paper. Your mom? Is that what Canadians call mom? Mom. 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 Yeah. Mom. You, M-U-M. Mim. M U M. Mum. Yeah, I'm sorry. I say mum. I fucking, I fucking oh, love the queen. You know what I have to? <laughs> you know what I have I to? I love the queen. Excuse me. I have to leave. Actually, I have to go to the pub. <laughs> uh, uh, I actually don't use bowls. I just put everything in, in a newspaper. <laughs> oh, in a newspaper. Yeah, that's what I they do with fish it. and chips. Uh, You've been to London, so you fuck. <laughs> um, um. Uh, iconic Canadians rattle them off. Luca Magnata. Did you watch Don't Fuck with Cats? No. Oh, was that a big deal in Canada? I've been the guy here. who fucked with cats. No. Yeah, but you, you, that was when you were there. No, no, I never. I don't remember. I um. Why didn't you watch Don't Fuck with Cats? I don't watch documentaries. Not even about murder. No, because I don't want to have to talk to people about them. Hmm. Because if you've watched the same documentary as someone, you have to talk to them for an hour. That's yeah, but what else are you going to talk to them about? That's <laughs> nothing, why I watch nothing. them. No. I'm going to be like, oh, how was your day? I just get so bored. I get so bored of talking to people. That's why I watch these docs. <laughs> but then so you have to talk to people about but them. But I love talking about them. Okay, well, fine. That puts our... That puts a crunch in my plans. Oh, the old saying. <laughs> Our old saying. As the saying goes. Our old saying. Um, oh, ASMR. Will you hold this for me? Yeah, I'll hold that right up. There's a mukbang. Banana mukbang. These mics are so bad. There's definitely no way that picked up the audio. Really? Yeah. It, oh, it did? Nice. Yeah, don't insult. Are these your mics? I mean... They're not not. I use them. Right. I don't own them. I right. don't have the receipt for them. I love that the mic is like you're like talk. You have to speak and hold it. In I've done that before. You're and not hold, doing anything new. I've done that before. Oh, you've done it before. Okay, go back they to episode do. twelve where I do that. I've ac- I actually love your podcast. I've watched every episode. No, you haven't. You're such a liar. Don't 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 do that. I remember when you started. I was like, I'll watch episode twenty. You went with straight to 20? No, I was like, I'll wait, I'll wait until she's at episode 20. Oh, okay. And then I'll watch because, you know, and she'll you be in her watched. bag by you then. Watch. Oh, I've seen clips. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? That's Would you fine. guys rather Allie chew ice or eat the banana or um, both? Do you think you could chew ice and eat oh, the banana? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, how are you going to grab that? <laughs> Ew, you just got like a naked banana in your hand. You're like a little kid. A little kid just holding a naked banana. I want a banana. I went to school with this kid and he would eat chocolate bars. But he would fully take them out of the wrapper all the way and just hold it. (laughs) Like a fucking psycho. He probably fucked with cats. You know what I mean? He fucked with cats. He he would just hold it and then his hands would be chocolatey. But this isn't like this isn't like elementary school. This is like a sixteen year old boy. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, he had like long fingers too. Oh, he looked like a fucking witch. Slender man. Yeah, his name was like Jordan something. Mm, Jordan Peele. Mm, no, he was like a skinny white guy that had like. Of course, what's that he's blood a white thing? Guy. What anemia? Yeah, uh, anemic. anemic. He was anemic. Yeah. <laughs> like if I cut him, he would probably bleed to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like only a little bit of blood. If, he yo, have if that I much. find out you're anemic and I don't like you. I'm going to cut you. Cut your ass. Paper <laughs> cut. cut. That's cut all it takes. Ass. Just a paper cut. I'm going to try and catch this in my mouth. Okay. Here we go. Do you believe in me? Um. Because we need to raise the stakes in some way. I believe in you, but... What if I just imagine this? Imagine how sick this would be. I throw it up and it lands and I just it just goes down. Wait, in one what bite. if it gets stuck in your throat? <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and that's how you fucking die. die. Banana. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. We're both looking at each other like I'm not sticking my fingers in there. You guys just leave. He moves <laughs> <We're> out. <like laughs> <laughs> okay. This would have the most views though. For sure. Why do you think I'm doing it? Why do you think the, I do oh, anything? Could you actually die? That would be good for me. Oh, if I because I'm a part of it. Oh, okay, and people yeah, would be yeah. like, "What was it like?" Just make sure you like look good while I'm doing it, and okay. not be like, like be scared enough, but not like. Should I like, put my pathetic. arms on my leg. Like, that looks kind of weird. Look at yourself. 
know what you want to be looking like when we go viral. And here we go. Okay. I need to like make sure I watch. Okay. 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 <laughs> Ow. 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 Okay. That oh didn't my. work. Um, it did hit me directly in the mouth. <laughs> Hey, that hurt. It landed when it came down. I just like didn't want it to touch me. Yeah. <laughs> so <You> I <laughs> like I was scared. You don't think a banana has the range to no, hurt, there's a full, but it does uh, hurt. Yeah, it, chip. It, I've yeah. like bit my tongue. Okay. Um. Yeah, you just smell like banana now. Yeah. So you like the pod? You're a fan of the pod? I love. It. Oh man, this is the best pod. I'm actually. Yeah, I'm in from New York. Let's hit some mics. <laughs> Let's hit some mics. Let's go to the pizza shop. There's got to be a 3 p.m. Bert's back room. Oh, I haven't been there. Yeah, I might. Th- this the after smell of banana is so repulsive. Repulsive. That's Logan Paul's new podcast. Really? Repulsive. No, he has a podcast called Impulsive. I'm just. Oh, I don't know Logan anything Paul. about Logan Paul. Really? I was just talking shit on him on my last podcast. Really? Yeah, everyone was attacking him. Everyone For attacks what do you him. Do? Well, because he was saying, like, if you have anxiety, just smile. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, things will get easier. <laughs> and it's like, oh, obviously, this man has never struggled. Why are we, like, why would you expect him to give good advice about anxiety? But everyone's like, you suck. Wait, uh, yeah, he doesn't have anxiety. He fully does things without thinking. Yes. He's never overanalyzed anything in his life. No. He didn't he went in, like, into like, the suicide but, force and was like, ah. But it's like, why do you need to attack him for that? It's like, just be like, in your head, be like, oh, yeah, he's a dumbass. But we all know that. It's not like breaking news, but everyone's like tweeting about it as if this is like right. new to us. Like, wow, I can't believe he said that. And it's like, what do you expect this man to say? Yeah. And Something then, intelligent? No. And then Tim Dillon's on his podcast yelling about how he's a government plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logan is? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Um. Oh, I wanted to read you some DMs. Speaking of hitting the mics, there's this guy who DMs me jokes that he wants me to do, and I've refused to. But I thought this would be a good time to can we bounce run these jokes? Can we go by back you? and forth? Like you do one, and then I'll read one. Okay, sure. I mean, he's only sent a couple. My lip still hurts from that banana. Of course it does. I've been hit with banana before. Okay. Do you think your mom is gonna think this is we have good chemistry? Um, she'll let me know and then I'll let you know. I think, um, but regardless, she's going to be like, whatever. It's a great exposure. Sh- she'll think it's great exposure. Sorry. Yeah, please. Don't. Um, she, she please really don't liked touch. She really liked my episode with Trevor Wallace. Okay. And you know, you're also like white and silly. So I think she'll like that. Right, right, right. I think she just likes seeing me happy. So when someone makes me laugh, I think it makes her really happy. Right. No pressure. No I feel pressure. like you've laughed a couple times. I don't really. I have to. laughed a couple times. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Not as much as Trevor's episode, but I have laughed a couple times. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Um, well, now I got to think about that for the rest of the time. No, you're good. Don't even worry about it. I'm not going to. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go first. All right. You go first. Hey. Uh. Wait. Where do I start? Started a joke also well so the fr- okay hey i have a question slash topic for the podcast how prevalent is ghost writing and stand-up comics talk incessantly about how to start and get better at stand-up but no one ever discusses how to go about getting started in ghost writing in the open which i get because that field is all about discretion but i think it would be interesting to hear your take on it people don't really have ghost Ghost I've heard writers. about some people that well, have but, writers. But the people who do have writers are like super successful people. Like Amy Schumer, Chris Rock, people like that. Yeah. I people mean, who have... don't have time. Ellen DeGeneres. People who don't have time to like test out material and like work. Yeah. But all of their ghost writers are people who they've worked with in the past who also have like their own successful comedy careers in some way or another. It's not just some dude who's like trying open mics. Right. Like you have to like continue and work hard still at your own comedy for other comics to want you to work with them well, don't you think i have heard of a couple of people that spill that, the tea. that aren't, aren't spill the tea, uh, sis. i would say that they're like they're like I'm, a headliner but i think they're like mid-level and and i know and i've heard that they have a writer you, i told you mine interesting yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. wait wait, wait. 
Whoa. Yeah, ex- ex- That's ex- not ex- that ex- exciting. Ex- ex- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but then I, it's also like you know I heard like Chappelle was at the cellar like a month ago and he did th- he did like three different headline shows and then between each one he would like go up to the table and talk to like Michelle Wolf and somebody and then by the end of the night he had like worked out in and like a whole hour. Yeah, that's crazy. That's cool. Oh, so now he okay. So now he's ghostwriting for me. Now I have a ghostwriter. Okay, writer. right. So do you do the first? Okay, joke? so this is my first joke. Also, I wrote a one-liner in your style. This is my style (laughs) for a ghost writing challenge on the spot today out of curiosity. And hey, this guy, Jeremy, I appreciate it. Don't want to make fun of you. Me neither. But I'm just going to read exactly what you wrote and the audience can decide. Out of curiosity, if you would oblige, rate it from one to ten on how funny you found it. Because that's how you judge comedy. You don't laugh. You just rate it. Whenever I right. do shows at the improv, people are like, seven, two. No, they, they hold up a sign usually. They hold up a sign sometimes. If and you're at a like, nice club. It's like it's like an auction. Yeah. Like the like statement, they're buying my, club, my joke. Yeah. My cl- yeah. Okay. So here's the joke. <clears throat> oh, good. There's a lot. Funny. St- oh, here's my joke. Hey guys, how are you doing tonight? Everyone's good? You guys dating? Nice. All right. Funny story. I tried to give my boyfriend what I thought were butterfly kisses last night. I also found out last night that I didn't know what butterfly kisses were and that my uncle is a pervert. Hmm. Three. Three. Hold on. Let me make sure. Three. That's a three. Yeah. Well, let's dissect it. Funny story. Funny story. So I, wait. So immediately, so is, I'm telling the audience that this story is funny. Immediately, you're like, "This is going to be funny." This is funny. So, so my this, expectations are like, "Oh, this is about to. This is a bag." Hilarious. Allie's about to be in her bag. I never say joke. that this story is funny. No, you I'm would always never like, say that. None of my stories are funny. So you always are saying stuff that's funny, but, but somehow, you're never like, "This is going to be fu- yeah, funny." Yeah. No. Yeah. Expectations are high. Yeah, too high from the start. I tried to give my boyfriend what I thought were butterfly kisses last night. Okay. So we're establishing that I'm in a relationship, so all the dudes in the audience already don't like me. Yeah, they don't want to laugh. They're threatened. They don't want to laugh. They're like, I don't have a chance. They're like, one, women aren't funny. One, women aren't funny. And now, and I can't have sex with this one. And this one's off the market. And so you're like, how much time is she, much longer is she going to be up there? How much longer is she on stage? I can't even. Is this an opening joke? Yeah. Yeah. This sucks. So, but also, butterfly I kisses. think the boyfriend part is important for the rest of the joke. The boyfriend having part is the, important because there's the a misdirect. Line, right. Here we go. And also, I thought were butterfly kisses last night. This is what I thought were butterfly kisses last night to my boyfriend. See, now here, you would probably do a butterfly. You would say what you think a butterfly kiss was. Yeah. You'd in be a like, comedic take. Yeah. Like if you were like, oh, butterfly kisses. And then he headbutted me. That's when you, know you know come I mean? out of a cocoon funny, to funny. kiss. Yeah. There we go. I also found out last night that I didn't know what butterfly kisses were and that my uncle is a pervert. But I don't get that because I'm saying I'm the one who's trying out the butterfly kiss, but then I'm saying my uncle is a pervert. So you would have to say my boyfriend tried giving me butterfly kisses last night, but I don't think he knew what it was. Okay, but I'm also but caught up. I'm also, like, is your boyfriend your uncle? Yeah. Are you or dating are your, the uncle? Butterfly kisses or your uncle? Is your uncle? uncle? Yeah. It's confusing. And so unless, and it's also like, yeah, maybe you butterfly kiss your boyfriend but you're not gonna go butterfly kiss other people yeah like that's kind of like a hey we're joking around being intimate (laughs) yeah i'm not gonna just go up to someone imagine if i just butter that's how i end the podcast i just butterfly kiss you yeah also pink eye don't want it so so i'm just gonna give him a, a a three on that one but it was his first joke and you know the more jokes you write you do get better well, let's see, because he does send us more jokes. He does? Where we'll are see they? if he improves. Hold on. Um, okay. Um, if so, here's one I came up with today that can be the first one. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, yeah. This is our open mic. Are you thinking about how to deliver it? Yeah. It's hard. There's you gotta read, really not you gotta a read it first. I I don't know which part of the set this is in. Obviously, I'm already like you're. I'm Allie, and I'm already like killing. No, you can read this as you, right? Okay, I'll read it as me. 
So you're not killing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm not killing. Someone compared you to Chris Jalea the other night when I was with you. It doesn't even make it sense makes no at sense. all. They're like, oh, you're just like Chris Jalea. I'm like, well, why? You're like, is it where? Is it because I'm wearing a hype beast shirt? Yeah, I don't know what I was wearing, but I'm not like Chris Jalea at all. I wouldn't say at all, but you're not. Okay, read the joke. Don't squeeze the boobs too hard. You'll break the yolk. That is my impression of my drunk grandmother giving me the only sex advice I ever received. Don't squeeze the boobs too hard. You'll break the yolk. That That's is my, my impression, impression of my drunk grandmother giving me the only sex advice I ever received. I think received. this person thinks that I'm William Montgomery. I don't think that they know it's me because that could be potentially a William Montgomery joke, but that's not an alley joke. Yeah. Why would I be why would my grandma be giving me advice about squeezing people's boobs? Yeah. And you're also like kind of blowing up your grandmother's spot in that joke. You're like, she's an alcoholic. Yeah. She has a problem. And then, oh, here's another joke. And also, like, why would boobs, your boobs be eggs? Yeah. yeah. You, no one has ever compared the boobs to eggs. I've never wanted to crack a couple boobs open. Yeah. <laughs> scramble some, scramble some Scr- boobs. Scram- scramble some titties up. I used to call it scrambling the eggs when you just shake your boobs. Maybe that's what he's talking about. But I've never talked about that. And he wouldn't know that. He doesn't have the same experience as me because I'm he's I'm thinking a about boobs and like, you know, the aerial and the nipple. Maybe that's the image of like the egg. You know, sure. how, how like when you crack an egg, I guess that's like a, the oh, yolk is aerial. But when would you ever touch a boob with two hands and spread it apart? Yeah, that would be so dumb. That'd be so dumb. I would never have done that before. Yeah. I would, I've never done that. Here's my next joke from Jeremy. <clears throat> I always want to put boobs together. Yeah, you want to you want to put them. I don't know why. Like it's like I'm like like I'm connecting like electricity. I think it's like it's like a very uh it's like like when you're a kid and you're just like putting all of your toys together. Yeah, it's so hard to like just be alive cuz you see so many boobs and you just want to put them together. So many. Whoa, Gavin. Okay. Yeah, there's boobs all Whoa. over. Whoa. <laughs> Gavin's killing it. I loved working at Here's my joke. <clears throat> I loved working at the suicide hotline for the same reason I love poker. I fucking love calling people's bluffs. The only bad thing about the hotline is they just hang up and you don't get to know if you were right or not. Right. But if you're calling the suicide so also, hotline, you're not. Bl- no one's ever bluffing. No one's ever calling in to be like, guess if I'm serious but Jeremy, or not. Er, Jeremy's writing these jokes for you. Yeah. And um, in this joke, you love poker. I think I just accidentally called him on Instagram. We should talk. We should call him up and be like, "Hey, here's what we think about your jokes." We should call him up and be like, "Can you say it?" In your vo- let's have you let's said try it? Call, let's have you said it out him. loud? Do you think he'll answer? Probably not. Let's find out. I mean, are you willing to call Jeremy? Yeah, he's gonna have a heart attack on this section, and or boner. Wait, hold on. I think you're like. You- are you in the sun? Am I? Yeah, you're in the sun. Can we put up that like blue screen or whatever? I like it. You like the light? Yeah, I didn't realize on one of the episodes we did it later on in the day. Okay, word. And I had drinks over here and all of a sudden the sun came through and it was just a spotlight on the, on drinks. the drinks and I was like completely dark. I love drinks. I love beverages. Okay. The blue screen is kind of in the frame, but... Yeah. You know, whatever. It looks better. Here, scoot in. You're not going to edit this? No, we're not editing this. This is all part of the uh, allure of my podcast. (laughs) Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, let's call up Jeremy. Jeremy. He seems like a nice guy. How can I call him? Do I have to? Okay. Oh, you have to go to his page? No. Maybe he doesn't have it available. Right. No, I think I have to accept the message. Okay, here we go. Let's call him up. Oh, shit. He looks like a nice guy. He's got a good black and white photo. He's leaning a lot in the photo. I don't really trust people that lean in photos like that. He's like the, he's like outstretched like this. You know? It's like, why? What choice is that that you made? I don't think he's going to answer. If he doesn't answer, fucking. 
Commander. Well, it's true. He is a ghostwriter. Oh yeah. And he, so he's trying to, to yeah, he's trying to keep like his. I mean, if people really wanted to find Jeremy and find out who he was, they could now. They have enough information. Yeah. Oh, he didn't join. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's call again. Um, because because you just go, which Jeremy we're using is a fake name. <laughs> oh, no. Like, it's not, like, that's not the name. But if you did want to find him, you could probably, like, but it's not his name. So even if you go to Ali's you Instagram. You want the rest of the banana? I don't want to see it. And <laughs> even if you go to Ali's Instagram and you go into the, whoever is following her and search Jeremy, you're not going to find it's, it because we used a fake name. It. We used a fake name and you look for a leaning photo. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. You're never going to find it. Sorry. It's totally different. I wanted to talk to you and I'm glad that I remembered this because in your... Okay, he didn't join. Fuck Jeremy. In my what? In your... <clears throat> in your... You posted a clip of your stand-up from the Bill Burr Presents or it might have been yeah. another thing that you've done because you're just killing it. Thank you. Um... You have this joke about, um, and I don't get to see you perform, like I don't see you perform that often, you know, and okay. so I had never heard this joke. And it's so funny where you talk about how, because how old are you? 25? Yeah. Okay. I'm 24 and you have a joke about how two girls, one cup came out when we were like 11 years old. 2000 and seven it was yeah. or 2009 i made a parody video of that with my stepsister and we had chocolate pudding and my older sister recorded it wait do you still have it no it was on like my sister's like flip phone at the time you yeah, know it was yeah. like very <laughs> random i don't know why she filmed it it's one of those things we're looking back it's like that's so weird of you to and film gross. and gross <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah. i think at the time it was so relevant that we did it anyway but oh what if that was him calling I back know, that's what Were i thought i was excited no i was excited oh, um yeah. It was my manager. Hopefully, I'm doing Bill Burr Presents. Um, anyway, so it's so true that that... Yeah, because it was it, like... It will was you like, kind of tell your joke without telling your joke? I mean, you can like just go to, my, go to my Instagram. It's like the it's like on the first video. And just watch that whole set, please. Please help me. Please. Um, but yeah, it's on my Instagram. But it's basically like the internet ruined our lives. Yes. Because and I have, we saw that when we were so young. Like the internet video started to pop off. There was even like... There was even like these crazy shock videos, like there's Pain Olympics. Yes, where the guy cuts, the guy his, cuts dick, off his dick. He cuts off his dick to win a million dollars, and he bleeds out. And he bleeds out, and he dies. And I remember we don't know probably. And there's also I remember watching that in middle school with my friends, yeah. and just like we just watched that casually. Yeah, and there's also a video I watched. Me right oh, meat spin. Yeah, meat spin, and, and then lemon party. Like, lemon party, which was like they'd be like, oh, there's people would be like, go to lemon party. There's the best games because it was yeah. like when we were playing mini clips yeah, and yeah, like yeah. shockwave and that games. polar bear who was bowling yeah yeah, the bowling yeah. Polar you, bear. yeah 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 and george bush and the queen shooting like terrorists like remember those games i don't remember that one <laughs> all right well they exist and i didn't make it up and uh yeah so they'd be like go oh, it has the best games and then it'd just be like you a train of old dudes old people <laughs> old old dudes just like having sex with each other crazy in like a train standing up which is actually in now that train? i've had sex it's hard to I remember do. being at a house. Yeah, I'm saying that they're oh, all... Oh, running a it, train. It look, I thought you meant literally They're not even running a train. train. There's just like eight dudes oh, lined up. Oh, my God. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so funny because I was thinking about how... Cra because in in my stand-up, I've been talking about how I think like porn has ruined us because yeah. we're at the age where we always had access to it. Right. And like, I don't think that that's healthy. Like growing up, just always... Right, I saw being you able to see that. Night. Yeah, yeah. But also like... The idea of being on chat roulette or Omegle at the age of like 12 and just seeing dudes jack off. Yeah, you just go to a thing and just be a dude. Yeah, you're just like at your friend's house like, ha ha ha, going to talk to complete stranger <laughs> pedophiles. Like, I feel like that has shaped my personality so much. People are always like, oh, why do you talk so laid back and chill? And it's like, oh, because I've been traumatized by strangers on the internet by choice. Yeah, I've, I've, I watched like three guys, one hammer. Yeah, people are like, why which do you... Which is like a Ukrainian video of these dudes murdering somebody yes. in the bush. Yes. <laughs> and you can hear him like dying. And yeah. And like stabbing him with the screwdriver and shit. And it's like, obviously I talk like this. I can't be excited about things anymore. I'm, I actually quit porn. That's so cool. I yeah, I quit I quit porn. Everyone's absolutely gonna like, want to fuck and you. And that's after this. and that's like a thing where it's like, oh, he's lying. Like people are like, you're a lot, you're yeah. a lot, but I quit it. 
Yeah. For I, how long? You're like three days. <laughs> it's been six hours. Yeah. I relapse. <laughs> That's why you shower. I have my badge you had to on take my, a cold my shower. Yeah. <laughs> I took my cold shower because yeah. I was just watching some <sighs> hot and heavy porn. Yeah. Now I quit because I read an article that you get like erectile dysfunction. You're trying you to have that long term. Yeah. Not, strong yeah, dick. Yeah. Long term dick. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart planning yeah. for the future. I want like dictator dick. Yeah. You can, it's never leave it. That Kim Jong Un dick. Yeah. You want that Kim Jong Un dick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I quit. That's cool. How long has it been? Like two years. Whoa. Yeah. My God. I still like jack off. Hell yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but you just don't watch. I just have porn. to remember things. Yeah. I th- I remember like me porn. and the banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that I could help you. Or like, or like any sexual encounter. Mm. I'll be like, and I'll be like, oh, and then I'll. <laughs> yeah. And I'll and I'll do it. That's cool. Do you do you, in your head when you're rethinking of a sexual encounter? Do you kind of like spice it up even more in your head? Of course. Because there's so many sexual encounters that like of course. aren't that hot. Right. Most sexual encounters aren't really yeah, that yeah. hot. It's a lot of like thinking. Right. Do you say people's name when you're having sex with them? Um. Not like random people where you're just like Jeremy or like. Yeah. You know, Timothy Chalamet. If I'm with someone. Yeah. Like, are you saying their name? Yeah. I personalize it. Do a you bit. do it? <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, like a get well it, card. It, yeah. It's like um. <laughs> Oh, what are those? What are those ad libs? <laughs> yeah, you're just I have like all the things in. I say, and I yeah, you're like here's the script, and oh, now I'll just oh, I need a verb here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you give me an adjective? Good. Are we coming up with bits? Yeah, we're we should doing... write sometime. Oh man, Jeremy, come through. <laughs> Jeremy, we need you. Jeremy slides. But in when just you're like saying leaning. he's like butterfly kisses, but yeah. when you're saying. Because this was another joke that I'm trying to work on that I can't really get a grasp on. When you're saying someone's name, the person you're with's name in the bedroom, does mm-hmm. it does it feel like is it hot to you when you're saying it, or are you saying it because you've just seen it done and you think that that's what you're supposed nah, to do? I'm saying it because I know that they like it. But I but here's the thing: plot I, twist. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't say my name. I, it does it because I'm thinking they're saying this because they think they're supposed to. I like. That's why porn is bad because everything everyone's doing is right. based on what they think they're supposed to do. Because I mean, of you porn should just say what things. you're thinking in the moment. And, but and what a, I'm thinking in the moment is usually like, wow. I'm like, <laughs> don't crack oh, you're the wet. eggs. Oh, you're wet. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, uh, Whoa. This is this could be tighter, but it's chill. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that? No. <laughs> Have you ever thought that? No. Lies. Lies. See what I'm Name thinking? Names. Well, I wouldn't say I think this should be tighter. No, no, no. But I was going to say to who I thought oh. that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I just said the name of the person who I earlier had said. How's it Ghost Rider? Um, uh, see, because if I was saying out loud the things that I'm thinking during sex, I'd be like, this is taking forever. Yeah. It's always it's always so much longer than it needs to be. I'm always how like, much how many I'm how, how like, many minutes tops are you in there? I mean, it varies. I mean, it can vary from one to thirty minutes. Oh, okay, but no longer than thirty, typically on average. I never time my longest time, and okay. is, are we including foreplay in that? See, because if we include foreplay, then yeah. <laughs> What is your? I've, I'm, I'm just trying to your trying to eat like, pussy for like Civil War reenactment, for like role play. <laughs> <laughs> You're like yeah. greasing up a. I dress uh, up as like a as a, a colonel shooter. Yeah, <laughs> not a colonel. Yeah. <laughs> as a popcorn. I meant corn. What, what the fuck is that? Yeah, what colonels. Colonel? Okay, yeah, it just felt weird. I said it and I was like, that sounds like popcorn, but they they say Colonel Sanders, yeah. but it's C O L. That word O-N-E-L. sucks. That's a shitty word. Fuck that word. Fuck that word. Um. Yeah, most people don't do f- foreplay, and that I'm. Um, see, this is the thing with uh, people our age, and obviously there's exceptions to the rule. Obviously, Gavin's a sex god, but a lot. That's of not. People, I never said that. I'm fine, and I, I, but because in I, porn, you want to think you're the best. So yeah. yeah. But because in porn, it's always like cutscenes. It'll be like two seconds where you see them like looking at the pussy, and then yeah. it's just like cut to them like. 
fucking banging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys aren't doing anything. There's a great. In my experience. There's a great Twitter account. In your experience. In my experience, guys are just going straight for the kill. I and mean, I'm like, I love to eat pussy. Like I have sisters. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I want women to feel good. You just have to fuck, it's, dude. That you are only fucking only children. <laughs> I, I am. Only children don't fuck good. No. No. They're selfish. Yeah. And yeah. That's it. They're selfish and they don't know how to talk to people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if only only kids. You know, like only fans, there should be a website for only kids. And it's only just kids. them trying to get better at, at pleasing other people. Pleasing other yeah. people, yeah. I, they're too spoiled. Mama's boys, that's a nightmare. Well, you don't want that. No. And my problem with porn was I used to do a bit about this, but the like, editing? No, not the, the editing. cinematography. Is it like the peop is like the porn that we watch is just like people like us like trying to make rent and yeah it's like you sad. see the struggle yeah it's like sad because we've all considered at one point being like should i do that yeah. so you see yourself in them yeah you see yourself in them yeah and that's Imagine, how you come yeah <laughs> you're like oh man that's me I've, I've worked so hard for this moment um well imagine if the safety brothers made porn it'd be too, it, it, it that's just amateur porn like with the guys holding the camera and shit. Yeah. That's just a Safety Brothers movie. It's like really close up. They don't have a location. But there's this great Twitter account. It's called Out of Context Porn. And they just play like they just play yes. like scenes like before they yes. fuck. Yes. And it's so funny. I also the acting and it's like all setups to like people about to have sex. It's so funny. I love porn. There's acting. the one where a dude like he fully made a pizza and there's like two old guys and two women sitting at the dinner table and they're like hurry up and he's like he's like what i gotta make it special and you're like this is just a, it's a frozen pizza. pizza yeah and it's like taking a long time the guys are getting mad and then so he walks over with the pizza and he, then he like comes on it no his like he puts it on his dick so his dick is like through the middle of the pizza and then everybody is mad they're like oh my god this is your and then they all leave and then the one girl's looking at it and she's like i'm not gonna let I'm this get to go to waste <laughs> yeah I'm hungry. <laughs> it shit is so funny. That's sick. It's like, it's comedy. It's so good. The Safety Brothers could never. Yeah. I just miss that from porn. That's why I watched that Twitter account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we never watched like VHS tapes. That's even scarier to me. One to, like, time. People that go and like no, get a VHS. No, one time I was traumatized. I was like in elementary school and I was going to watch a movie in my dad's room on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I just hit play on whatever movie was already in there. Big mistake. Always check your dad's VHSs. Yeah. Especially you know? your dad with his wet collar. <laughs> with his soaking <laughs> wet collar. His, his sopping wet collar. Oh my God. So I pressed play and it was like this old school, like black and white bush porn. Oh. And this was before I had seen any of this stuff. So I just screamed. I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah! and my dad was downstairs and he was like, what's wrong? And I was like, a, a, a spider. Because oh I didn't want to call him out. I couldn't call out my right. father. You know, that's his pleasure. and Of course. His cross to bear, his crocs to spare. I, did you ever watch Red Shoe Diaries? No. It was just like on like... It was on like channel... It was on like channel 41, like on Fridays, like late, like 1 a.m. And it would be like there are people in it that you, that you would recognize from like they're like actors, you know? But it's like softcore porn. But it's like a whole setup... And it just to like see like one nipple. That's so. And sick. then you'd see the nipple and you'd be like, I gotta fucking jerk off right now. <laughs> you like watch this terrible story I've just for like nipple. soft core like porn moment where they oh. have they have they have sex where it's like that's cut how you and that's, it's like dissolving. See, that's how you like foreplay so much because you were in the soft core game before. Wow, yeah, because of Red Shoe Diaries. Because of Red Shoe Diaries. RSD. RSD. Um, Shout out to RSD. Hey, on that note, let's wrap. Or Debbie does Dallas. Okay, I don't need it. We don't. Did need you ever watch that? It was just like it was like some down. like Got it was him. like on You're show on Showtime, Skinamax. Yeah, and it was like it was like a. I remember when I used. It to was like a documentary of like the, this like porn studio, but they would, it was like weekly episodes. Oh, that's cool. And you could see titties and stuff. Damn, titties are so tight. Yeah. Damn. You want to put them together? And we'll squeeze them up. I got. Oh my god! I was at a bar by my house the other night. 
And there was this guy who was having his bachelor party there. And it's like literally just like a random bar. It's like, this is your idea of a bachelor party. Whatever. Go off, King. And he had a bucket list for his bachelor party that he had to complete. And one of them said, I was like, let me look at that list because I'm here to help. One of them was like two girls kissing. I was with my two gays from Canada who are fans of the pod and also friends. Shout out to Chloe and Maggie, um, my two lesbian queens. And I was so down to make out with either of them for this. And they were like, we just will make out with each other. They said that? No. So you did make out. But just in my head, I was like, I I would make out with you guys. She just said something. Well, but then I saw on his list, it said pee in my own mouth. (laughs) I was like, I think you just want to do this i feel like he was just getting married so he could be in his own mouth for his bachelor party bucket list i know and then like and then like 10 years down the line he's like in this loveless marriage peeing in his own mouth in secret and he's like i should have just kept doing this i know he's like i didn't have to marry this but then on his but then on his (laughs) list it said motorboat someone and so i was like come come to mommy and so it was the work because i'm wearing like a layer of clothing like a thick sweater and I just tried to squeeze my titties together through this, right. and it didn't. It didn't work. Motorboating's the worst, because even if you got big old titties, you're still gonna get that middle chest part, no matter. If, and then if you squeeze them together, it's like, what are you? What are you doing here? Yeah. Anybody who's like, I love to motorboat women is sad. Sad, yeah. They're sad inside. They're sad. Yeah, even motorboating. Depressed. There's so many other things you could do. You're depressed. Yeah. Well. Um. Okay. What 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 do you have going on? Mm. <laughs> What's going on, Gav? Um, nothing. Is this like that wrap up? This is the wrap up. Okay, sick. I mean, I got nothing going on. Just follow him on the online. Yeah, follow watch me on his... Instagram and Twitter at Gavin Matz. <clears throat> and watch that set. I got a couple stuff. I got some stuff up. He's got some stuff online. We also, we had an audition where if we both get cast, we could potentially play cousins in this new show that is coming out. And I really hope that that happens because of our solid chemistry on yeah. this podcast. It, we uh, should send this to the casting directors. Yeah, yeah unedited unedited uncut uncut gems it's an uncut gem (laughs) okay is there anything else no okay nothing else for me go to my website to find out where i'm performing bye